see here that in that time, people are going to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. Both small and great, rich and poor will receive that mark, right? In their right hand or in their forehead. But here's the thing. My message for you today about the mark of the beast that many people miss. That time, you know, people talk about, all oh, the Antichrist is coming. You know, um, this is going to unveil the Antichrist. These things are to bring in the Antichrist. I want you to understand one thing, my fellow sisters. Do not forget this. The Lord God of heaven whose throne is above the heavens, whose kingdom is above all kingdoms, is in control. The devil is not in control. The Antichrist will come when Jehovah decides it is time for the Antichrist to come. He is the master planner. It is his design. All this is by his design. The time of the mark of the beast, it wouldn't be men of this world who have ushered it in. It is he in control and he has declared in the heavens that it is the time for the mark of the beast. Now, this is the big test. Revelation chapter 3 verse 10. Revelation chapter 3 verse 10 says, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell on the earth. On who it shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell on the earth. Let's read it in the Amplified. Because you have guarded and kept my word of patient endurance, have held fast the lesson of my patience with the expectant endurance that I give you, I also will keep you safe from the hour of trial, testing, which is coming on the whole world to try those who dwell upon the earth. 11, I am coming quickly. Hold fast what you have so that no man will rob you. No one may rob you and deprive you of your crown. So the mark of the beast the time of the Antichrist and the time of the mark of the beast is one big test that is coming upon the whole world to try all those who dwell on the earth. Now, here's the different spin I want you to see. The different spin that I want you now to see is this. The tricky thing about it, you know, when you used to go to school, some of you watching me are probably still in school at the university. I myself, I have a consultancy built business with universities, with the higher education sector. So you always have those tests, right? And you have to prepare for your tests. You study for your exam. You know, you have, you know, you have, you set your, your studying timetable, you know, and you, you're doing all this preparation for this test that's coming. And you don't know what the test is going to be about. So you try your best to be as comprehensive as you can in your study because you want to succeed. Now, the thing about this test, my fellow sisters, listen to me very well. Listen to me like you've never listened to me before. The thing about this test, my fellow sisters, is that you have already been graded before the test starts. And that is frightening for some. You have already been graded before the test starts. You cannot wait till the time of the Antichrist to decide, I'm going to get my act right with the Lord, right? I'm going to get my act right because, hey, I'm not going to take the mark. Who decides who takes the mark? Is it you or is it God? I've had heard so many, so many, including some of the pastors, the false teachers out there, you know, I'm not going to take the mark. We have no say. We know in our hearts we won't take that mark. But the, the, the decision, the ultimate decision of not taking the mark does not reside with you or me. The ultimate decision is in the courts of heaven. Where? Let us turn to Revelation chapter 13. 
verse 8. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of the lamb slain from the foundation of the world. All whose names are not written in the book of life. Hence the reason why I'm saying you have already been graded before the test began. So get your act right with the Lord now. If you find that you've been backsliding, repent and return. If you find you've not been serving the Lord with fervor and with zeal, repent and return. If you find that you've fallen asleep on your Bible, you cast that spirit of slumber out and you subject your mind to the mind of Christ, repent and return. Because now is the time, right now, today, at this moment is the time to begin to, to return to the Lord and make sure we have our act right. Return to the Lord and serve him with all of our heart, with all of our mind, with all of our soul, with all of our strength. Return to the Lord as it is written in Luke chapter 12, verse 31. It, but rather seek ye the kingdom of God. Seek the kingdom of God. It is now time to seek the kingdom of God. Begin to seek the kingdom of God like you've never sought the kingdom of God. Like you've never done. It's on your mind. It's in your thoughts. It's in your desire. It's in your heart. You want more of the, his kingdom. You want more. You want to be illuminated by his word. You want to be filled up with his Holy Spirit. You want to be led by the spirit of God. You want to hear his voice. My sheep know my voice. Talk to me, Lord Jesus. Guide me, Lord Jesus. Instruct me, Lord Jesus. Create in me a clean heart, Lord Jesus. Renew a right spirit within me, Lord Jesus. It is time to get your act right. Because the test, you've already been graded before that test began. And as long, praise God, as your name is written in the book of life, you will not take the mark of the beast. You will not take the mark of the beast. So don't go chasing all those videos now about mark of the beast, antichrist. You don't need to be watching all of that. You know, the one thing you need to know, this is all you need to know. This is all you need to know. It's the one thing you need to know. The one thing you need to know is to serve the Lord with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. That your name be written in the book of life. Accept the Lord Jesus Christ into your life if you haven't yet done so. Get baptized and be born again so you can enter into his kingdom if you haven't done so. This is all you need to know. And as long as your name is in the book of life, you won't even have the desire. The Lord will give you the discernment. He'll speak to you in a dream if he has to. He will tell his people and we will know because we know his word. And you will not take the mark of the beast.